Hey everyone, I'm CNC Sean, and in this video, we're gonna make a torsion box workbench for the showroom. So if you caught our last video, we finished up the showroom cabinets, got everything put together and installed, and thought, you know, it would really be nice to have a workbench to put all these together on like we do back in the shop. So we ordered up some material. We decided we we're gonna build a torsion box workbench. We've got Baltic birch for the majority of it. And then I wanted to do a melamine top just cause I like that for the smooth surface and kind of easy cleanup. So let me show you how we put that together in VCarve. Okay, we've got VCarve Pro open or the version I've got is Aspire. That's just the full blown version of VCarve Pro. We'll start with sheet one. And we've got the internal parts to the torsion box to the end pieces, and these are also the internal parts. This gives us kind of our frame structure. Uh, we'll have some inside cuts, some dado cuts, and then our perimeter cut that we'll use a 3 8 compression bit on. Moving on to sheet number two, we've got the bottom part of the torsion box, the base of it, and essentially just dados here. The smaller ones are through dados, and that's gonna hold our base into place. Let's move on to sheet three. We've got the remaining two outside parts of the torsion box. Again, dados here, and then some inside cuts. Kinda nice to have those pockets inside to be able to play stuff. Then these are the uh, other three parts to the base. One in the middle just for a little structural support, and then the two end pieces. Sheet four, we did uh, we threw the Shop Saber logo in there, did a V-carve carving of that, and uh, I think that's gonna turn out really nice. Other than that, it's just all cut out with a 3 8 compression bit. And then our final sheet, we did a sheet of uh, 3 quarter melamine. This has dados all the way around, the bench dog holes in it. If you wanna keep those, use them. I think they can be useful in certain applications. So there you have it. It kinda gives you a layout of what we got going on. Let's head down to the machine and get this cut. You got a peek at how we put this together in V-Carve. We're all set to go, we've got the files ready. Now I've got a sheet of Baltic birch plywood ready to go, we'll start there. Machine set, we'll fire up the Oneida dust collector and all we gotta do is hit go.
CNC just finished cutting. This is our uh, top to the torsion box. Everything looks good. While it was doing all that work, as parts came off, I came over here and got the base to our torsion box workbench assembled. We did a little V carving in there. It turned out real nice. So that's all set. Now all we gotta do is get started on putting together the torsion box. We just finished up our torsion box workbench. Couldn't be happier with how it turned out. You know, on the base of it, we were able to put our logo on there. That looks really nice. Working up from there, we've got spaces to uh, put a nail gun or drill, whatever you're working on. And the whole frame of that gives us the rigidity and flatness this keeps. Then you look at the top here, and we've got bench dog holes if you want to use those. You know, it, it turned out great, and I'm excited to have a place here in the showroom where we can set stuff, work on it right here rather than on the CNC or on the floor. So there you have it. If you're interested in projects like this, be sure to check us out on YouTube, subscribe to our channel. If you're interested in checking out a machine that we've got here, check us out on shopsaber.com and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks for watching.